Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and unboxing impressions of this uh, car mirror, which has an interesting integrated 3.5 inch TFT LCD panel. When the panel is off, you can see that it just acts as a typical mirror. You can't really see anything different about it. But when it is plugged uh, into a video source, such as a uh, some kind of camera that's attached to the back of your car, so when you're trying to reverse out of a parking lot, you can see what's happening, or you can also attach it into some kind of GPS antenna and use it as a secondary screen, it will come on and it has a few applications which I think are quite unique. This uh, rather generic set sells on Amazon for roughly 50 bucks, which isn't too expensive. There are more expensive models out there which may have an operating system pre-installed, but this one just acts as a basic display uh, that you can toggle on or off. Uh, the mirror itself will take a close look at it in a moment. There's a quick instruction guide included in the box in addition to the unit itself, uh, along with a set of uh, power strips, the power adapter cable, and also video cables, which we'll show you. I will say that something like this will require a bit of installation, which may take uh, from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on how experienced you are with uh, this type of peripheral, but it requires you to swap out, again, the current mirror in your car, attach this onto the universal cradle, and afterwards uh, set things up from the video standpoint. So this might include rerouting. You can see some of the uh, aspects in terms of the power and after doing that you know plugging in and extending the cord for the video uh, with the uh, camcorder or the GPS unit that you have uh, already installed on your car. Those elements are not included of course with this particular uh, car mirror display. So here is the power adapter. It uses it looks like a proprietary port for, for charging. It has a fairly limited length but you could always, always extend it by uh, purchasing your own uh, I guess cable just to extend that length a little bit but you can see here that includes the strip for the power that you have to route yourself and here we have the uh, you know for video cable you can plug this in and allows you to uh, connect it via a standard RGB uh, video source of course this is typical for most uh, cameras as well as for uh, GPS units uh, for for car systems it's not going to use HDMI it's not going to use uh, uh, you know, VGA cables, so this is probably the, the standard to go with here. You can also, of course, use this to plug in some kind of, let's say, DVD player if you want to, and use this to watch or monitor what's, what's going on from a film. Uh, but this is mostly, again, should be used for security and for accessing, let's say, a camera to see you can see better your environment when you are reversing from a parking lot or some other situation. So here we have... Uh, a extension cable for the power which is the red over here and these two are for the video and the audio source and down below here we have access just to a few controls there are three buttons which you can use to navigate through settings such as the brightness uh, when to have the display on or off they're pretty tactile and responsive uh, the center here is where you attach the unit onto uh, your actual uh, mirror you can see that these hinges can be adjusted slightly they're spring loaded just to snap into place once you once you're ready and here the mirror itself you can see is extremely sharp Shiny does attract a fair amount of fingerprints as you'd expect. It's just a regular mirror and uh, after, when you're done you can of course wipe it down. So as you can see when everything is off it does look like just a typical mirror. Uh, perhaps a bit more elongated but the display is certainly invisible to the naked eye.